it's a good day where you know we love local, we love local animals mm -hmm. and the organizations which support and protect them. And your furry creature at home can help some gorgeous mm -hmm. pets this weekend. Amy Gares from the Golden Retriever Rescue Resource in Waterville joins us with Phoenix, yep. the star <laughs> of the show this morning. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about Phoenix. So Phoenix is only a year old <laughs> and Phoenix. he came into the rescue uh, needing a new home because of having some mild hip dysplasia. Okay. And then he's got a really rare condition called fibrous dysplasia. Oh. And so with that, um, inside the back leg, mm -hmm. instead of <laughs> bone, um, some fibers grow. Okay. Aww. And so we've had him to a surgeon mm -hmm. to see if there was anything we needed to do. And he you thought want to play. that he was doing okay with the way it is. Mm -hmm. There's enough bone there that, you know, he shouldn't break it or mm -hmm. have any problems with okay. it. Okay, so will he need special care for whoever takes him? No, I don't think so. Okay. Other okay. than the, the typical golden things mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. you know, yep. you, you can't have too much stuff laying around. <laughs> <laughs> and there, <laughs> Phoenix will get it. Yeah, so he's about a year old, so still a puppy. Still and, a puppy. And yeah. has some puppy energy, but seems to be okay wearing some bunny ears this morning, huh? He's being good right now. Yeah. yeah. Very, yeah. very sweet. So you have a fundraiser coming up to help yeah. with what you all do and, yeah. and to, to care for these animals who come into into your care. So talk a little bit about the Easter Bunny coming up. Yeah, so on Sunday, on St. Patty's Day, <laughs> we will be at Rover Come Over, uh, doggy daycare in Monclova that's on Elpen Road. And we do photos with the Easter Bunny. So, <laughs> you know, if you've got pets, bring the pets out. Um, if you've got just your family that wants some pictures with the bunny, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. um, we've had cats, dogs, had an iguana one year. Okay. Uh, and so, Always something. All right. Yeah. Never know. And then all of the money that we raise goes to the vet bills for the dogs that are in the rescue. Oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, sweet boy, huh? He is so sweet. <laughs> I just want to cuddle up with him. Yes, especially on a rainy day like today. So about how many animals do you all care for on a regular basis? It, it's it's um, increased a lot because some of the, the mills have stopped breeding the Goldens, mm -hmm. and so we get a lot of the mill dogs. Okay. And, oh. and so in order to find them homes and everything, and it's increased quite a, quite a bit. That, you know, usually we're 70 to 100 dogs in a, a wow. year that we're finding new homes for. You know, because when you think about a golden, you think, oh, that's a, a sought after. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you wouldn't think yeah. that this is a dog that you would get no. from a shelter necessarily, but that makes a lot of sense, yeah. these mill animals. It's horrible. Yeah, and recently we um, took in five puppies um, because that mill was <laughs> shutting Keep petting, down. ma'am. <laughs> was shutting down. Attention. <laughs> and so okay. we've got the five puppies then to find homes oh, for. Oh, wow. Okay. So you do have a lot of puppies uh, up for adoption. What is the process like for someone? Because I know that you all want to make sure that's going to be a good fit. Right, yep. So there's an application that people put in. They email our, our email address and ask for an application. And we have areas like um, northwest of Ohio, of course, and uh, parts of Michigan, parts of Indiana that okay. we adopt to and fill out the application and then from there um, we call the veterinarian if you've had animals before find out okay. did you take good care of your last animals okay. Okay. and then after that we go to the house do a home visit mm -hmm. make sure everything is safe that way talk with the family you know figure out what's going to be a good dog for the family okay. yeah they yeah. may have kids or you know other pets or right. something right. like that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yep and, you know, if it's somebody who's gone to work all day, well, then a puppy doesn't work well, mm -hmm. um, that kind of thing. Okay. And so then once they've had the, <laughs> the home visit done, then it's a case of matching them up with the, the right dog. Wow. Yeah. And so Phoenix is looking for somebody. Yeah. And you want them in a home, not an apartment. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Because the, the Goldens tend to be high energy. <laughs> yeah. They need a little place to run around Speaking a little of. bit. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Now you have a toy, you don't toy. you? Now you have a toy. Boy. 
Are you that gonna play tug? I guess I am. You gonna well, play no, tug? Let's be the Easter Bunny. Oh, Here how sweet! Go. So yeah. tell us again about the event on Sunday and um, where people need to go and what time that's all going on. Yeah. So the the bunny photos start um, at 11 o'clock mm -hmm. and they run until three. It's at Rover Come Over, mm -hmm. uh, doggy daycare in Monclova on Elbin Road. And you got him again. Bring him over here. Bring him over here, Phoenix. Come here. That's not a test. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dog. So um, reach out um, if, if you're interested, but also come and help support and bring the family and the iguanas and yeah, uh, get all your of them, all pets. Yeah. <laughs> and get yeah, your photo ticket <laughs> on Sunday. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Today. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Phoenix. Thanks, Phoenix. You're such a good boy. Well, there's still plenty more to come on Good Day. Sometimes the show turns into a little bit of a circus, literally. We're going to catch up with John Monk at the Zenobia Shrine Circus at the Glass City Center. Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show returns in just a moment.